One of the things that always shocks me is how people whom I would trust, maybe not with my wife, but certainly with my pocketbook, in their private capacity, whom I would never question the integrity of, will in their public capacity, because they believe that it's in the best interest of other people, lie to the American people. Let me give you a simple example with Social Security, if I may. Social Security has a tax, as you know. That tax is supposedly divided into two parts. Half supposedly paid directly by the employee and half paid by the employer, 5.65% by each. Now, the economics of the matter is that fundamentally there is no distinction between these two parts. The part for which the employer pays, writes the check is also paid by the employee. When Social Security system engages in propaganda, when it gives out information about the Social Security system, it always talks about the cost of the employee in terms solely of his part. I achieved what I thought was an enormous breakthrough about three years ago when in a public debate with Wilbur Cohen at that time, uh, Secretary of HEW, I got him to admit in public for the first time that this has ever been done to my knowledge in Social Security literature, that the employer's part was also borne by the employee. Now, Wilbur Cohen is an honorable man. In what way is it borne by the employee? His wage is lower than it otherwise would be. If you're an if you're a employer, if you're hiring a man, What's the cost of that man to you? It's what you pay him in wages, including his part of Social Security, plus what you pay him in Social Security tax. You couldn't care less whether he cost you $150 a week, of which $20 was tax and 130 wage, or whether he cost you $150 a week, all of which was tax. Couldn't make any difference to you.